I'm at a gypsy. <laughs> Dude, I'm really glad I was going to ask about the whole CT thing because I think Dave Mirror's deal was a shockwaves through the industry. Everyone that we know has had concussions, multiple concussions, and you're a guy that's in that category. And I wondered how across that you were and if Dave, because when Robbie Madison was on the podcast, like we spoke about it for a lot because I was at Robbie's house the day that... Maddo spun out about it a bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, there was the, the day before the Pipe Dream premiere when he crashed his BMX bike and he went into like intensive care and had that, like that was heavy. And uh-huh. I think that one really was like, okay, fuck, you know? And I, I wondered how across that whole thing you were because I, I feel like medicine's getting better and knowledge is power when it comes to that kind of stuff so like actually i wanted to talk about it, but i'm glad you said that you've like done some testing and it's like something you're actually across and sort of looking at well you just want to know what especially for nitro like you got guys that um you know and it's it's interesting the airbag stuff and people think of airbags as um get out jail free card. fluffy yeah. but um so uh rhinorrhea it's where your brain the brain fluid leaks out of like basically the shell that it's in. So your brain's in a fluid shell, if you will, an yep. egg. Um, well, Dusty Weigel on the airbag, um, he had 15 or 20 hits exactly the same way, trying to get this trick, trying to get this trick, trying to get this trick. And he's not even that dizzy, but he just has all this fluid drains out and he kind of falls over. And Drains out of where? His nose. Oh. So rhinorrhea is not gonorrhea, it's <laughs> brain, brain fluid. Um, so if you hit the same spot over and over and over again, so they said the highest percentage um, as far as any sport of CTE is female soccer because really? oh. you hit headbutt, same spot. They practice over and over and no over again. Way. So it's the the airbags and the resis that are actually a little bit more traumatic as far as um because you can get away with hitting and without like the broken bone. Yeah, kind of well, yeah, you're like, oh, that just rung my bell a bit. That rung my bell a little bit. But yeah. those are the impacts. Um, so boxing, Dave was a boxer. And I don't know how many people knew that. I mean, yeah, people knew a little really bit. Yeah, he was really into it, huh? Really into boxing. Now, boxing, you're going to hit the same spot. So the doctor was really interesting. He goes, look, he goes, if you're in an impact sport, um, so this is going through um, all the boot campaign guys, and we did a whole week of testing. And it, was, it was pretty rad. But he goes, if you're in an impact sport, chances are you're not – predisposition to CTE and all this stuff. But he goes, if you ever have two hits exactly the same, in exactly the same spot, there before it heals, there's 100% chance of brain damage. Now, I don't have brain damage. Jim DeChamp doesn't have brain damage. Um, and James Foster doesn't have um, brain damage. We were the three that went through that had the most concussions that just were like, okay. Um, so I probably can't talk about those guys much yeah, or no, what, what's going on but um but anyway so all of us were, were good there um they said look you stay active they said look your your body your brain is a house right so every time you hit it hard enough um it puts a hole in the floor you hit it hard enough you get a big hole in the floor now to get your brain to reconnect to basically rebuild that floor um it takes activity it takes clean eating it takes clean not drinking so you know a lot of people they get hurt they they lose what they're doing they, they start drinking more alcohol they start doing less physical yeah, they're like yeah. you'll never heal so they said look if you live really clean like you can repair almost anything barring brain damage yeah um you know you don't feel like yourself your emotion changes all this other stuff they go think about this you hide all your demons in the basement well you get a hole there and all of a sudden you start crying more. Yeah. You get angry, you get sad, you get happy, you get whatever, because all, everything, there's stuff that you just can't put back in the basement because you get a big hole in it. Yeah. But you live healthy, you work hard, you get that blood flowing. Everything's about you know kind of blood flowing and, and reconnecting that stuff. Yeah. Like, you can connect anything. And they have stuff they can do it, like basically electric zap you. Yeah. Um, you know, that does help. He's like, I can make you happy, I can make you sad, I can make you everything. Just sit down over there and we'll, we'll zap really? you back. I'm like, that's cool, I'm good. But I you think know. I'll just slide <laughs> on that one. Uh, but, Jim, you wanna go? Yeah, you wanna, you wanna go first? <laughs> Tell me how it works. <laughs> If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.